My name is uh, Dorothy Kumboka. I'm in charge of counseling and uh, whenever the directors are away, I'm in charge of uh, overseeing how things are going on in the ministry. Uh, with Mercy Ministries, we have other ministries underneath it. We have uh, the Mercy Baptist Church that meets here every Sunday and on Wednesdays. Uh, we do have the Mercy Christian Academy that uh, hosts parts of the Mercy Children's Home Kids and uh, some from our communities. And uh, we also have the Mercy Secondary School. So we call it Mercy Christian Academy, but it's the high school that we recently built and uh, it's not complete. We only have two four classes down there and we're hoping to have more classes come next year. Uh, we also have the Mercy Children's Home where I spend most of my time. What really motivates me is uh, seeing that change in a child over time because change is not acquired in a day. It takes time for you to see something changing. So whenever we go into the community and uh, bring in kids to our ministry, and uh, when we sit back and look at those kids and see the transition from where they were and where they are and where we hope them to be, that gives me joy. That is why I wake up each morning and want to serve the children, the, the children at Massey Home and in our community. Like that transition from uh, lacking a family that loved him in the streets to now having a family, a father and a mother and an aunt and uh, siblings that he cares about. So when uh, you see such a kind of uh, a boy who comes back and uh, sees the value in a family, uh, you realize that uh, without a strong family then you cannot have uh, kids that you can take care of. And I'm thankful for, for Mercy Ministry for here, it has brought out the family aspect in our ministry. The greatest thing that I've gained from Mercy Ministry is the gospel. Before I joined Mercy Ministry, I had gone to a number of churches and I don't know why I was hoping from one church to another. By then, I can't say I was a Christian or I'd been saved. I didn't really understand what being saved was then. But ever since I joined a Mercy Ministry, I started having the question like, what is the gospel? What do I want to do with my life? What does God want me to do with my life? Most of the time, it was uh, me asking the question like, what do I have to do about this? Instead of asking, what does God want me to do with my life? Mercy Ministry has impacted our community in a number of ways. Um, we do feeding programs for our community and uh, we build houses for widows and families that didn't have a home to go back to. Uh, we have uh, helped other kids go to other schools. It's not only based on uh, bringing kids into the Mercy Ministry. We do support kids attend other schools that is not Mercy Christian Academy. Each Friday we do send uh, diapers, diapers to the NICU where we assist mothers of given birth to kids and, and uh, struggling with a number of needs at the hospital and uh, that has also opened a way of ministering because uh, we do not only send diapers to them, we attach a Bible track for them to read and give them hope and uh, to encourage them to keep trusting in God. Having been here at Massey Ministry for the last three years, I've uh, seen a tremendous change in uh, how we have been able to impact a number of kids. Uh, like in our Massey Christian Academy School, we have uh, about uh, 150 students who come from the community and uh, come in to join our school. These kids don't pay school fees, they don't buy uniforms, and we are very thankful for the donations we get, like our uniform we get from a school in, uh, in America. We are very grateful that they are able to donate those uniforms to us. And uh, we get, they all get their curriculum, their parents. Like there's nothing that we ask the parents to give in, in return of the education. Help with, and uh, at times it may seem like we still come to you and ask you for to support our ministry. But I want to assure you that uh, whatever you are doing to our ministry is of very, is of, um, blessing to us and uh, 
It has been able to give a number of people and a number of kids hope.